This is Local 4 News at 4. Welcome back. Well, Halloween is only a few weeks away, and if you're looking to give yourself a chill or a scare, you may not want to head to the movies to see these movies that we're going to review right now with uh, Linda Cook, our movie, our movie critic, in-house movie critic, who's going to tell us all about these films. And we're going to start with Jeepers Creepers oh. because you were not a fan. I sat through this for all of you mm -hmm. so that you don't have Thank to Thank you. Um, you know, <laughs> I've been doing this for 35 years, and I don't give very many zeros. I usually find something, something in the movie, maybe it's a song or a funny line of dialogue that is worthwhile. This movie is absolutely worthless. It is garbage. And, and oh, I don't say that please. very you often do not. Or very many times a year. Um, there was a, an original movie called Jeepers Creepers that came out many years ago. I love that movie. Okay, so up. And I was really, I was like, ah! My husband Every likes time. that one, too. So <laughs> there are three of those. This is supposed to be a reboot. Yeah. Uh, it forgot everything that went on in the other movies about being clever or darkly funny. The creature doesn't even look right. I cannot stress yeah, enough how worthless this movie is. On Rotten Tomatoes, where I'm a critic, and when my reviews are there, it's sitting at a solid zero. That's very unusual. It's crazy or it's wild to me because the trailer looks so good. Right. Well, the trailer uh, did its job, and of course, <laughs> it's getting people into theaters, but um, I heard people laughing when they shouldn't have been laughing. It was unintentionally funny when, the night I saw it. Again, how many stars? Zero. Stay away. Far away. So don't, go, <laughs> don't waste your money at the theaters to see Jeepers Creepers. Not Creepers on this one. Not on this one. Okay, how about Don't Worry, Darling? Well, one of the main attractions in this is Harry Styles because he has a rabid following. Yeah. And I have to say, Mr. Styles did an okay job. Um, it's directed by Olivia Wilde, mm -hmm. who directed the wonderful Book Smart not long ago. And it's an okay movie. I was very disappointed in it, though. Um, the idea is that a woman named Alice is living in a 1950s setting utopia. Yeah. Her husband, played by Styles, goes off to work to the Victory group every yeah. day, the Victory Project. But she doesn't know what this really is. And until another neighbor, who's part of these wives who stay home all day and get together for, with their husbands at parties, um, until one of them starts to say this isn't what it appears to be, yeah. she doesn't begin to see that this may be a veneer for something else. Yeah. And um, there's a mystery afoot. It builds up to almost nothing. The big reveal is sort of shrugged off. So I was very disappointed in this mm -hmm. movie. It's okay. It's yeah. not, not the worst movie. It's not Jeepers Creepers. But <laughs> this is a week for disappointment. If you're looking for something great to scare you, yeah. see Smile, which we'll talk about next week, yes. and Barbarian, which we've already talked about. I there's a lot of good horror out there. I can't wait to talk about those movies. Okay. Skip this weekend, maybe next weekend. Right. <laughs> Thank you so much, Linda. To get Linda's full reviews, go to ourquadcities.com.